Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Barnett. Today it is currently almost 10 o'clock at night. Whatever time it is right now, it is currently 9.34 at night right now. So yeah. Happy Friday guys, it's September 20th. So yeah. By the way guys, if you are new to the channel, give it a like, subscribe for more content, and also please leave your requests. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're looking at, we're going to be in Mont Montreal, yeah, Montreal International Airport today. But the Montreal. No, Montreal. You said it wrong. The Montreal International Airport in Canada. That's what I'm talking about. I know, I know, but that's not it. It says it's Montreal. You said it wrong. Montreal. That's what it is. Montreal, you said it wrong. You said it wrong once again. It's a city in Canada, Captain. Do you know what? Do you even know? Do you not even know what I'm talking about? Montreal is a city in Canada. That's all. Like I think it's in Quebec. Yeah, Quebec is what I'm talking. So we're gonna be looking at the arrivals video in Montreal International Airport arrivals. This airport, this is the other hub, and this is Canada's, one of the Canadian hubs in the Canadian, in the Canada area. This airport has a couple, it has terminals, I know that. We have a domestic and international arrivals terminal. So there's the West Gen Air Canada Airlines, Air, Airways, or Airlines, whatever. We're on the departures logo. See where the departure is over. Here at the Montreal International. So let's say we have one to. I think this is Terminal. Wait, is that one? I think that's Terminal 1. 2. I think we have. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know where the arrive. We have USA flights that leaves from this airport, too, obviously. I think that's the, I don't know what, I'm not sure how many terminals this has, it's probably just two, three or two, I don't know. No, Gavin, that's not what I'm talking about. No? Montreal Gavin. Are you really hearing me or something? Can you not hear me? Montreal's an air and a s I just said again. Do you not hear me? Don, you can't even hear me, can you? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I know, but it's not. Is there a terminal set up? Look at that Google. <laughs> Found the map. So I'm not having the terminals laid up. So basically what I'm seeing is... So basically... So basically this is the uh, domestic terminal. The middle is where the arrivals and um, departures. And then this side of the airport right there is um, where international flights or arrivals come in. And then this terminal right here where I'm pointing will be for USA flights and arrivals coming in from the US and Canada. So yeah. So yeah, this is how Montreal's terminal is set up. Kind of a little bit weird, but you have multiple runways. I mean, there's two runways at this airport. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, this airport's laid up kind of weird, but we have inter we have Air Canada's airlines, obviously in Canada and Canadian in the Canadian border. So yeah, if we can get inside the airport. I know we can't argue. 
No, no, Gavin, not on Google Maps. That's what I'm talking about, silly. You silly man. There's the inside of the airport terminal. I'm not sure what terminal this one is at. This is the, I think, international. Yeah, this is pretty much the international terminal one. Currently on the internet. Yeah, because right there you got the arrival. Because right up there you got the arrival level for international and U.S. airport. Yeah, Swiss and all the international flights outside the Canada, Canadian or the EU, whatever. Excuse myself, by the way. So yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where USA. Yeah, this is where USA terminal. This is the US terminal for the USA for the US for the United States flight for the US flights. Like Delta or United or American or any flight or even Air Canada Express or something like that. New York. New York's in New Jersey. Philadelphia. Oh, oh. oh. oh we can move to the air terminal. terminal right I think there should be a rivals level. Yeah, in fact, right there behind, behind the glass, that's where the arrivals level is also for the US flights. So, like, if you're coming from, from, from the US, then you ain't gonna go upstairs go to the arrivals level and hit through immigration and all that. So, yeah. We have the check-in counter desk for portal gates. What's the US? You also have US, they do also you have they do have US pre-clearance at this airport. For for the U.S. for the U.S. for the U.S. travelers heading back to the United States, just like Toronto and Vancouver and all the other hubs we've done so far. That's where international, Canadian, domestic flights. The United States flights official. This is the, the domestic terminal we're sitting at. The city is located not far from the airport. Literally, maybe 10 miles away from this downtown area. So, yeah. I don't think there's really nothing. Oh, yeah, the location on the moon. This is at the Ben. Roto Road. Roto Nord. Arrivals Doro. Quebec. H4Y1H. One Canada. So yeah. And I forgot the airport code for this for this location. The airport code yeah. is Y U L stands for multi international airport. So yeah, I'm gonna show you arrival for you and it will be hit. Anyways, guys, subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Here's an example. This is at the arriving off of, of a flight sink from Orlando on Air Canada. Okay. So this is how you go up to. This is the video. This is a video from somebody on YouTube. Shows you how to go through the arrivals level through customs and immigration. This is how to connect also. Tony Kim, the uh, Tony Conlon goes away from down to Montreal. Which means, what does Tony Conlon mean? According to Bullworth.study.com, 40 kilometers. So the city is located. 4.4274 miles away from the airport, from downtown 
from downtown to the airport. Moultrie is located, the airport is located 12.4274 miles away from downtown Moultrie, Quebec, Canada. As you can see, we head up the, you can see you head up the escalators. You'll just follow the um, signs to um, passport patrol and all that. So yeah, passport patrol is for immigration. Yes, so yeah. Those are rivals and connections. You just follow them signs that take you, you know, to customs, to Canada customs, you know, order to the Canadian. Follow the signs to the, um, until you get to the Canada Border Services Agency. This is an example that I was on. As you can see by the window, you probably can't tell by the window, but we're right above the um, main terminal. We go to the Nexus line. So like kinda like what US Customs does almost for global entry. But it works for both the Canada and the US, I mean, to my knowledge. And then you'll see that sign right there, you're gonna head downstairs. And this is where you're gonna be located at the Canada Border Service Agency. They do have a Nexus line or self-service self -service kiosk or the, or the in-person or speak to the first agency or the service agency. This is the passport roll or customs area. This, they, got, they got lines of course. Yeah. Connections and then baggage you got baggage claim and then connections. And once again you go downstairs, you go down the escalator, down to baggage claim and, and for connections also. Pretty much as far as size to baggage claim. Or if you have a connection connected flight, right to the rest. Sometimes that's a pretty good play for my own team. on your assigned cash flow from the airline you was on. That's the sign to connections for the exit. Okay, you're right, you'll go to the right for connections or you want to exit the airport. Guys, there's really nothing much else to talk about in this video. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and leave a request. Yeah. First, guys, I'll catch you back in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye bye.